say can you, Francis Scott Key? Francis Scott Key here. Even if you don't know me by name, you already know my work. Speak of the devil. That little ditty is mine. It's my best known song. Far and away more popular than the stuff I wrote during my blue period. And our flag was not there. But I wasn't always such a music industry megastar, the Madonna of my time. I started out as a lawyer. Say what? I know, I know. If you had a nickel for every lawyer who turned songwriter. You just have a nickel. Anyway, it fell on my shoulders to secure the release of a civilian prisoner who had been taken aboard a British ship. And then it was just a matter of right place, right time. As chance would have it, I wound up with a front row seat to the Battle of Baltimore at Fort McHenry. There wasn't much of a call for lawyers out there on the battlefield. A lawyer! We need a lawyer here, guys! So I was detained on the ship while the British carried out their plans to take the fort by sea. Oh, yeah! However, they were a little surprised when they realized the fort wasn't made of uh, couch cushions. So while I was chilling on the ship, the British bombarded the fort through the night. Their ships tried to station themselves just outside the range of the fort's guns, so they just kept firing on the fort without being too worried about enemy fire. But it was pretty dark out there. This was pre-floodlights, keep in mind. Ready, aim, fire, at what? Eventually, the ships came into range of the fort's guns and kablooey. The British desperately wanted to get their paws on the fort, as it was a crucial location for U.S. supply lines, but they were outmatched. By the dawn's early light, uh, sound familiar? I could see that the American flag was waving above the fort. It was a little battered and riddled with holes from artillery shells, but at least it was still there. The Americans had prevailed. Luckily, I had some paper handy, and I borrowed a pen from some British bloke who was too depressed to care why I needed it. I was totally inspired by what I had seen, and when a poet is inspired, he writes. Yeah, okay, I was still a lawyer, but a a very poetic one. What rhymes with subpoena? I started writing our eventual national anthem, then and there on the deck of the British ship. Ah, well, what they don't know, uh, right? Now that the battle had been won, the men under my watch were released at the Baltimore Harbor. I took a room at a local hotel, might have been a Holiday Inn Express, uh, I don't recall, and pulled an all-nighter writing my famous four-verse masterpiece. Even if most people only know the first one. Fortunately, I was able to get the poem into the hands of the right people, and the Battle of Fort McHenry became our national anthem. Although, they ultimately came up with another title for it. The Star-Spangled Banner. Whatever. I still like mine better, but hey, whatever sells on iTunes, right? Dang, I'm good. <laughs>